Wartime for Canadians in World War II was always a time of great danger, but the danger was not just faced by those in uniform. Those who served in Canada's Merchant Marine, while maintaining our lifeline to the United Kingdom, knew that once their ships left Halifax, crossing the Atlantic in convoy, their ships were constant targets for enemy action. The Merchant Marine was considered a fourth branch of the Canadian military, alongside the Royal Canadian Navy, the RCAF, and the Canadian Army. And of the four services, the Merchant Navy suffered the highest casualty rate. At war's end in 1945, over 1,600 Canadian Merchant Mariners had died, including eight women. The casualty rate amongst Merchant Mariners were one in seven. At war's end, our Merchant Naval veterans were denied benefits and any official recognition for their wartime service. And despite appeals to the Canadian government, this unfortunate oversight was not corrected until the 1990s. A total of 12,000 men and women served in World War II with our Merchant Navy. When war was declared in 1939, we had just 38 ocean-going ships. By war's end, 410 merchant ships had been built in Canada to supplement the fleet. A Canadian merchant ship of 10,000 tons could carry enough foodstuffs to feed 225,000 people for a week. And when Britain was most vulnerable, the success of the Atlantic convoys was absolutely essential to the survival of the United Kingdom. The convoy system, transiting both east and west across the turbulent North Atlantic, was attacked constantly by German U-boats, who preyed on those slow ocean convoys causing heavy losses, both in lives and their critical cargo. Usually the ships were stationed a mile apart, a little more at night for additional protection to avoid collision. The German U-boats also attacked coastal shipping off the entire eastern coast of North America from the Caribbean to Halifax. And during 1942, they even penetrated deep into the Gulf of St. Lawrence. And the St. Lawrence River was a submariner's paradise. The waters of the St. Lawrence River are a mixture of salt and fresh water, which create distinct layers that distorted Aztec signals. And these layers generated false signals or echoes that at times masked entirely the U-boats. Consequently, freighters loaded at the ports of Quebec City and Montreal were highly vulnerable to attack as they made their way with their cargoes to the assembly point at Halifax. And to protect the convoys, the Royal Canadian Air Force supplied partial air cover, limited, of course, to the fuel they carried, and the RCN corvettes and destroyers attempted to keep the wolf packs at bay on those cold, dark nights. Assisting the RCN ships were the Royal Navy, who worked the eastern sector of the North Atlantic route. Amid the mid-ocean escorts were the RCN corvettes HMCS Lindsay, Peterborough, and Coburg. And when torpedoed in the cold North Atlantic, crews of the cargo carriers had a 50% survival rate. Death by explosion or by drowning in the cold North American waters was horrific. The worst fate took place when floundering sailors were left behind in the water by the escorts as they raced away to attack the enemy submarines. The sailors who sailed these slow-moving, rust-streaked ships were true heroes who sometimes sailed in the highly flammable tankers or freighters loaded with ammunition and dangerous cargoes. Many of the crews had a mixture of older veterans of the sea, some too old to meet the enlistment standards of the other three services, and 15 and 16-year-old teenagers rejected by the Navy because of their age. The pay was in the range of $45 a month with a 35% war bonus on top. Rear Admiral Murray, former Commander-in-Chief Northwest Atlantic, once said, and I quote, the Battle of the Atlantic was not won by any Navy or Air Force. It was won by the courage, the fortitude, and the determination of the British and the Allied Merchant Marine. Finally, an important gesture was made 15 years ago by the Canadian government with the creation of a Merchant Navy Remembrance Day to remember the contribution and the sacrifice of the Canadian merchant mariners during World War II.